Unraveling the Mystery, Understanding, Racking One's Brain. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language to make learning easier and more fun for you. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that you might have heard or read somewhere. Racking one's brain. It's a phrase that paints quite a picture, doesn't it? Let's unfold its meaning together and see how you can use it effectively in your daily conversations or writings. When we say someone is racking their brain, we're talking about the process of thinking very hard to recall or come up with something. It's like trying to sift through every corner of your mind to find an answer or a solution to a problem that seems elusive. The word, rack, in this context implies a sense of intense strain or distress. So, if you're racking your brain, you're really putting a lot of mental effort into remembering or solving something. The phrase, racking one's brain, has its roots in the Middle Ages, deriving from the word, rack, which meant to cause extreme physical or mental pain. Over time, its usage evolved from describing physical torment to metaphorically illustrating the act of straining one's cognitive abilities to the extreme. This transition from physical to mental application reflects how language evolves to capture the nuances of human experience. To better understand how to use, racking one's brain, let's look at some examples. I've been racking my brain trying to remember where I left my keys. She spent hours racking her brain for the perfect idea for her novel. We've been racking our brains all night trying to solve this puzzle. These examples show that the phrase can be used in various contexts. Whether it's something as simple as trying to remember where you left an item or something as complex as coming up with a creative idea. If you're looking for other ways to express the same idea without always using, racking one's brain, here are some synonyms and related phrases. Racking one's brain, often used interchangeably with, racking, pondering deeply, mulling over, thinking hard. Using these alternatives can add variety to your speech or writing and help you better connect with your audience by keeping your language vibrant and engaging. We hope this exploration of racking one's brain has illuminated this phrase for you and given you new tools for expressing the effort of intense thinking. Remember, English is a rich language full of vivid expressions that capture the complexities of human thought and emotion. Don't hesitate to rack your brain to master it. It's all part of the journey. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. Stay curious, and keep learning.